JT, 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 the JT, 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 the JP, JP, the JP show. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the JP show. Yes, yes, y'all. I am back, back, back with a brand new episode of the JP show. Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm back, y'all. This is season three, episode number 10 of the JP show. Wow. These episodes are just flying, flying, flying by. Listen, guys, you know how I like to start the show off. Start, start the show off. I like to just thank everybody for tuning in to the JP show. It's been nothing but love. I appreciate you to the highest power for watching, for subscribing, to tuning in, for engaging into the JP show. And we're back with a brand new episode. We're back with a whole, with all new topics. Get it off your chest. Yo, it's going to be a great, great show today. So before I get into it, I just want to say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the show. It should be like right here or right here or right here. <laughs> Listen, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the show. It's very important that we continue to grow and grow. This is a grassroots show, but we want to see improvement. We want to continue to grow. I love you guys. I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. So, you know what? Let's get it on, baby. Let's get it on. Get it off your chest, JP. Get it off your chest, JP. Get it off your chest. Let's go, baby. Listen, today on Get It Off Your Chest, we're going to talk about Irv Gotti. Your man Irv Gotti is obsessed with Ashanti after 20 years. It's been 20 whole years that he's been in love with Ashanti, obsessed with Ashanti. I don't know if you guys seen the Drink Champs um, podcast with, um, with Nori, but on the Drink Champs podcast, he went in and he was just, he was calling her bitches. Um, he was talking really reckless about her. And just really like throwing her under the bus. He told the, the story about how he found out that Nelly and Ashanti was together. And it was really like, like, dude, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to ask you guys a question. Have you ever seen anybody of yourself? Have you ever been heartbroken or in love with somebody for 20 plus years? Remember now, his relationship, he cheated on his wife with Ashanti. You know what I'm saying? So... He got divorced over um, Ashanti. You think he would have some respect for his wife or his ex-wife that he's putting her through this whole misery and trauma all over again. You know, with this whole Ashanti thing, like have some respect for the women that's in your life. You know what I'm saying? But my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I've never, and I got to be honest with you guys, I've never seen a man be so heartbroken after so long. Usually, it's like six months, a year, two years. Two years is tops. I've never even seen nobody three, four, five years still being heartbroken and obsessed with anybody. But to be 20 plus years, and I gotta be honest with you, I know Irv Gotti has to be, Ashanti has to be somewhere around my age or early 40s. Irv gotta be 50 somewhere. So to me, honestly, you were like a predator at that age because she had to be in her teen years and he had to be maybe 30. You know what I'm saying? So you were more like a predator or a pedophile that this girl was young and she was impressionable, you know, impressionable. And you was basically like, you was like a hunter. You was hunting her a little child. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really know her age, how old she was when she got with Murder Inc. and Irv Gotti, but I'm guessing off the top of my age, off the top of my head, that she had to be a young girl. And he had to be in his third. He was married with kids already. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Irv Gotti, you gotta, you know what the thing is that a lot of people don't. Whenever things like this happens, whenever they're heartbroken, and everybody's been heartbroken. And I can understand Irv Gotti being heartbroken or whatever. My thing is just the, the wide range of years that it's been. But you got to be able to come back to the beginning. You got to be able to break yourself down. 
in relationship, guys, or when you go through relationships, when you go through different things with men and with women, and it doesn't work out, you got to be able to, after it's over with, break yourself down and find some type of inner peace and some type of, you got to purify yourself again. You got to bring yourself back, you know what I'm saying? And you got to chop all that stuff that, you know, all that anger and all, because you can tell that there's a lot of anger. The way that he was talking about Ashanti, you know, it looked like he was just filled with just nothing but anger and hostility. And, and he was just, you know, bashing her, you know, talking about how, you know, she wouldn't come on the Murder, Inc. tour and the documentary and all this. She doesn't want to deal with you. She doesn't want to be a part of that. And this whole time, I got to give Ashanti nothing but credit, nothing but love. For 20 years, this woman has been nothing but, but peaceful. She's been elegant. She's been classy with dealing with Herb Gotti and this whole Murder, Inc. situation. And I mean, he continues to bash her and she continues to be classy. And don't forget, guys, that she's, this is her, this year will be her 20th anniversary of her debut album, Ashanti. So, you know, she's going through all this different type of, think about Ashanti now. Think about Ashanti. She's had to deal with Irv Gotti and all his bullshit. And then she had to deal with Nelly and for what we heard, you know what I mean, that he cheated on her. So you have to deal with Irv Gotti and go through all this bullshit with Irv Gotti and Murder, Inc. and all this stuff. And then you got with Nelly. And Nelly, you know, seemed like he was going through her good. But at the end of the day, he cheated on her. So she's on stage performing with Nelly. And then she got to deal with the bullshit with Irv Gotti. Like, this, come on, man. Like, cut her a break. Cut her. And she's been really classy. Her and Nelly has been really classy. I don't know the behind the scenes with them or whatever the case is, but I've seen them on stage a couple of times and they've been really classy the way they've been handled. Cause think about it, they're performers. I think they got a couple records together. So, you know what I mean? Like they're gonna have to be, you know, together or they're gonna, they're gonna be seen together a couple of times or whatever the case is. They're performers, they're artists, you know what I mean? And then you got this clown, you know what I mean? And I nominated, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I nominated Irv Gotti the Clown of the Year because this dude is just, what I've seen from this guy is just pathetic. And it was just like, it really touched me because, you know, the anger and the hostility and it's like the pain was just coming back. And he was just like, you could just see like, he was like a narcissist. Like he was just like all about himself and it's all about him and his feelings or whatever. And it's like, yo, you put this girl through hell. What about her feelings? You know, yeah, you put her on and I'm sure she appreciates you for putting her on. But for the last, since you guys separated, it's time to separate. And I think that's what Herb Gotti haven't gotten to. You guys have separated 20 years. And I think Irv Gotti is probably still waiting for Ashanti to come back to him. And believe it or not, I think in his mind, he thinks he still has a chance. Yo, Irv, it's time for you to separate yourself. Separate those feelings from yourself. Maybe I should say it like that. Separate those feelings that you have for her from yourself. It, it's over. This woman is never coming back to you. She's never going to be with you again. It is done. It is over. She has moved on. You have, you know, with a woman, and a lot of you guys know this about women. With a woman, you got a short leash, man. You got a really short leash. They'll love you and all this stuff. But once you start bashing them and you start, you know what I mean, treating them badly or whatever the case is, and, and they've been nothing but classy and all this stuff, once you turn them off, because women, they go through a lot of stuff, but once you turn them off, they're turned off forever. All right? So, Irv, you turn Ashanti off forever, and this woman is literally moving on with her life. So maybe you should move on with your life, all right? Yo, listen, I got more and I got more and I have more, more, more things that I want to get off my chest. Get it off your chest, JP. Get it off your chest, all right? So for, I want to say this, for the people that's tuning in, that's watching the JP show, um, I like to tell everybody that um, when I have, when I do my shows, when it's just me, 
I just do a kind of like a smaller version of the normal JP show. The normal JP show is get it off your chest, read my profile and the topic of the day. Today I'm just going to do, and when I'm by myself, I just do uh, get it off your chest because it's just me or whatever the case is and we don't need to do like a whole hour show. Also, I want to tell everybody that don't forget that I'm on, um, I'm on Spotify and I'm on Anchor. So if you can't, if you're not able to watch the show, you can listen to the show. And for everybody that's on YouTube and you don't have time to watch the JP show, listen, you can listen to the JP show because I'm on Anchor and I'm on YouTube. I mean, I'm on Anchor and I'm on Spotify. All right. So listen. Let's get it off your chest, JP. I got more and I got more and I have more. So, for my second get it off your chest, JP, the one thing I want to say to guys, for my guys, you have to find women that cares more about making an impact than looking good. Wow, this is so deep and it's so real. For my guys, you have to find a woman that is more into making an impact in life and in other people's lives than, than, than looking good. And we see it every day. We see all these women and they want to look good, look good, look good. It's all about looking good, but they got nothing up here. They have nothing in here. And the importance of life, you know what I mean? Like the importance of life to me is to have something in here and to have something in here. We see it all the time on YouTube and, and on Instagram and on Facebook. You got all these women, they're showing off their bodies. You know, they got videos, they got 10 second, 20 second videos. They're not saying nothing in the video. They got nothing to say and nothing. All they're doing is looking good. They're changing clothes every 10 seconds and they just looking good. They just back and forth. They just posing. They got nothing to say. They have no way of impacting people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what the education is of these people that's changing clothes every 10 seconds or, you know what I mean, that just posing all over the place with their breasts out, with their butt out, and all this type of stuff. I don't know the education of these people, but you can see that it's not impactful. Like, it's not. Now, how long can you change clothes? You know what I mean? Like, where is that going to get you? How, how many years are you going to pose and look good for the camera? Are you a supermodel? Are you a model? Are you a supermodel? Are you trying to get into modeling or something like that? If you are, then maybe you should go that route. You know what I'm saying? But to see, I have a lot of guys, and I know a lot of guys, a lot of friends, and they get, they get struck by the look. And I'm going to tell you guys something. And I used to do this too. I used to get struck by the look. And I used to date a lot of women and they would look good and all this. I mean, look fantastic, beautiful, scrumptious, amazing. And then when you get with them, they would be hood or they would have nothing to say. Or they'd just be like, be like, duh, it's like, like doofus, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, like you look good, but you don't, where's the quality? Where's your impactfulness like where's the where's the intelligence you know what i'm saying where's the intellect like like where's your savviness you know what i mean like for the guys and, and guys and i and i i approach this with the men because men we have a big issue with this because men we choose we choose looks you know we're all about looks men we're very visual so the look has to be there you know what i'm saying and so for the men you gotta it's very, very, very important that you find women and you try to get women in your life that care more about being impactful. Have you ever been with a woman? You know what I mean? Like, 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 think about this. Have you ever been with a woman that cared about other people, that cared about her community, that cared about where she's going in life, that wants to, to do good and want to see other people do good, that want to leave the world better off than the way that she received it? Yo, those are the best, the best women in the world. For one, they're going to take care of you. 
You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. Those women that's posing is looking good for the camera. Snapshot, 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 snapshot. Oh, look at me, look at me. Listen, those women are literally what they say. Look at me. They don't know how to do anything. They don't know how to take care of home. They don't know how to take care of community. They don't know how to take care of their partner. They don't know how to do any of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? All they know how to do is look good. And it's all about, about them and what they want. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, we're in a new day and age. I will say this, man. I really, really do miss the 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 older the older generation the women that came before us because in today's time these women man it's like it's like i don't know man like they just don't have it and i know that because listen i i come up in a time before we had social media so you really you women have changed this is what i want to tell a lot of people, and a lot of people that wasn't here before social media, women have changed. And I'm guessing men have changed too, but I think men have changed a little less than women. Women have changed a lot because they wasn't like this. Women have always been, I would say they always been about attention. They always, they love attention, but not to the point that they're at right now. With the look at me, look at me, look at me, posing, have nothing to say. Back in the day, women had stuff to say. Yo, this is real talk. I came up in the time before social media. So women had things, they would, they would talk, they would preach, they would, they was, they was intelligent, they was going to college and all this different type of stuff. Man, women was the shit back in the day. I'm not even gonna lie. Women was the real deal. And now it's like, eh. You know, it's like, I, I put it to you like this. Now you can find more women that's about self and like to pose in pictures and cameras. Let me tell you, I went out with a girl one time and we went out to a nice little spot, picked up and everything. In my car, I picked her up. In my car, she took about a thousand photos. <laughs> I'm not lying. This woman took about a thousand to two... It, it got so bad, man. I literally was like, yo, I can't do this. Like, enough with the photos. Like, put the camera down. Just enjoy life. Enjoy being in the car. Like, like let's have a conversation. Like, she was just flicking. Like, uh, 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 camera shot. Oh, look at me. Oh, pose. Oh, I'm driving. She telling me to pose for the camera. I'm driving. You know what I'm saying? So, look. Guys, and this is... This is dedicated. This is solely dedicated to my fellas. Man, it is very important that we make sure that we have people in our lives that is impactful, that cares about us, cares about, you know, the community, cares about, you know, growing. You know, you want to grow. I think one of the problems, one of the big problems is, is that on Instagram and on Facebook and all these social media outlets, is that women can come up quickly. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the problems. So they don't have, back in the day, in order to come up, you had to go through basically uh, a regiment, which you had, to, you had to go to elementary school. Then you had to, from elementary school, you went to junior high school, from junior high school, you went to high school, from high school, you went to college. And then from college, if you got your BA, you went into the work field, if not, then you got your, your master's or you went and got your PhD or whatever the case, however you did it, or you got double master's or whatever, whatever you did. But there was like a regiment that you went up the ladder there from there as you continue to grow and grow up the ladder in, in education and all this type of stuff, you went up the ladder in finances. But it's not like that now. And I think this is the reason why we're in the state that we're in is because now... You could just go, a woman could just go on Instagram and just show her body, show her butt, show her ass, you know what I'm saying? And boom, she got a million followers and she got, you know what I mean? She could get paid off of that. She got a million followers, a million viewers, you know what I mean? And they're getting paid off of this. So I think this is one of the reasons what's going on with men and women right now because women are all about me, 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 me. They're all about self, self, self. A lot of women in today's time, 
they can't really do anything. They can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and for the women that's in my age bracket, and I would say 40 and up, yes, those women are there about their life and they doing their thing. And you know what I mean? Like, they, they come from my era. But the women, I would say, like, under 40, eh, it get a little tricky. It get a little tricky in there. So for the men, we gotta be, we gotta make sure, for my men, we gotta make sure that we are approaching women. Listen, if you just wanna have sex or whatever the case is, listen, do your thing. But when it comes to a partnership, when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to being with somebody for the long haul, we gotta make sure that we're finding women that is impactful in life, that's doing things in life, that's looking to grow. Impactfulness is a major, major key in relationships, okay? All right, so yo, let's, well, well, we, I think I got time. I think I got a little bit of time for, for another get it off your chest, JP. What we got, oh, you know what I wanna talk about? Cheaters, 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 cheaters. The women are constantly wanting me to talk about cheating. Cheating, JP, cheating, cheating, cheating. Let me tell you something. Every single time I go on Instagram or I go on Facebook and, you know, I make a post about, I can make a post about anything. I think last week I made a post about um, giving your man, for, for the women, you want to make sure that you give your, your boyfriend or your man compliments. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you're complimenting your partner. And the women go right into my comments, and you know what they do? Oh, but you can give your man compliments, but he's still going to cheat. And I'm like, this is not about cheating. This post is not about cheating. It's about, you know what I'm saying, healthy relationships and making sure. But I did that. I did that already. I gave my man, you know, my man that I was with, I gave him uh, compliments, and I was good to him and all this stuff, and he still cheated. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, this is for, there's people out here in the world that's in relationships that they're not cheating on each other. There's people in the world that's in healthy relationships. Everything is not about cheating. For the ladies, for my ladies, everything is not about cheating. Every time we talk about relationships and about being with somebody, a partner, it does, it's not going to always come down to cheating. If a man cheated on you or whatever the case is and y'all broke up, you got to figure that out and you got you to gotta become whole again. And you got to go back, like I keep saying, you got to go back to the beginning and you got to heal yourself. You got to find, you got to just heal yourself. You know what I'm saying? So all this stuff about Listen, I cannot put up, I'll be honest with you guys, I cannot put up a post on Instagram or Facebook about anything positive without some woman coming into my comments and they got to throw in cheaters because they was cheated on. What did that, what about the people that's not being cheated on? This is a, 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 a this is a talk show. We talk about a lot of different things, not just cheating, but we also talk about what it takes to stay in and keep a healthy relationship. I'm not going to sit here and talk about cheating every single day, all night long. Come on now. For all y'all women that's hurt, figure that shit out. Get your stuff together. Go back to the drawing board and find some type of healing. Every man not going to cheat on you. Whatever happened in the past, that's what happened in the past. Every man is not a cheater. Let me say that again for the ladies. Every man is not a cheater. There's good men out there that's going to take care of you, that's going to honor the relationship. It's the JP Show. I love you guys. I'll see you on episode